Coco's Cupboard takes rescue dogs. We take the hard cases that everyone else has given up on, and we train them to be service dogs for veterans and civilians. One thing that sets us apart is we take dogs with no hope, and we find a way to match them with people who have medical needs or emotional needs, and we, we train the dog how to be a service dog, teach the people how to maintain that, and teach themselves. When we first meet the veteran, they come in and they are closed. I mean, when I say closed, I mean steel faces, glasses on. They don't even want to pay attention to what you're saying because they are not buying the program. They're usually there because a spouse or a family member has encouraged them to come. And then they get there and we introduce them to dogs and a dog picks them. And then you see them, just even in their body posture, it softens just a little bit. And the next thing you know, you come back and the sunglasses are off. And you can actually see their face. And the next thing you know, there's a little tear coming down the side of their face because they feel so much better already. And then as we're sitting in class, even in the first choosing day, the dog is triggering on their anxiety and learning how they want them to relieve it. And it is amazing. They just needed their person. So it's our job to figure out how to connect them. That's why we're here, to connect the dog with the person. We're 100% volunteers with all donation-based. No salaries, everything goes to the animals. On average, it's $2,500 per healthy dog for us to maintain that. The dogs don't cost us money to get. They come into the program from the side of the road or from the shelter or owner surrenders. But the monthly maintenance, the heartworm prevention, the flea and tick prevention, getting their initial shots, their spay and neuter surgeries, we have all those things that add up. Some of these dogs need rehabilitation and they're with us for a year before they're really ready for this program. So when you take troubled dogs, it's not just like you pick them up one day and they can go to a veteran the next day. There's months of work that goes in. All the volunteer trainers, we do that at no cost. But the medical expense is very significant. The things that we need from the community are dog food. We always need more dog food. We need flea and tick supplies. We need heartworm prevention. We need cleaning supplies. We need blankets. We need towels. We need everything that we, it takes to maintain these dogs every day. We have training classes every week that we need people to come and bring the dogs and running through training. Mainly we need financial contributions. The bigger we get, the more we need from the community.